I'm going to show you how to assemble a two-door floor cupboard. The great thing about these cupboards are that you can use them in a laundry, kitchen, study or anywhere that you need to put a few storage items together. The tools you require to do this project is the cupboard in the box, cordless drill, tape measure and a pencil, a hammer for nailing the back on and a screwdriver for adjusting the doors. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put the pins into the panels first. These will go into the pre-drilled holes. Always follow your instructions. A little tip I'd like to give you is to use the cardboard carton that your box comes in. That way you can protect the floor and you can also protect the surfaces of your cabinet while you're putting it together. When you tighten these pins with the cordless drill, just be careful not to over tighten. So we're just going to do the same process for the second side panel. So now I've got the pins in the side panels, there's just two more to go in the shelf. Okay, now all the pins are in, we have to put the cam locks in. These are the little silver fittings that go into the other large pre-drilled holes. You'll notice on the front of them there's a little arrow, that arrow goes towards the outside to allow for the pins to lock into. Don't worry if you get these little cam locks in the wrong place, you can always adjust them with the screwdriver later. Just keep going with all the pieces until all your cam locks are in. Always follow the instructions when putting these cabinets together because it's very easy to get a piece in the wrong way and then you have to pull it all apart and start again. You'll notice on this side panel that there's two pins at the top, that's for the small rails. You've got a line of pins through the middle for the fixed shelf. You've also got pins at the bottom for the base shelf. Just follow the instructions and work slowly and you'll be fine. The middle shelf's the trickiest part of this whole cabinet to put together. So this small rail has to go onto the shelf first before it can go onto the side rail. Now all these cam locks have to line up with pins. The middle one will line up with these and these top two cam locks will line up with the ones that come in from the side. But when we put it together, make sure that the cam locks are on the outside so that you don't see it when you actually open the cabinet doors. Now what we do is we just slide these cam lock fittings into the pins. This is where it's important to have that arrow pointing out. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to get the pin in. Once the pieces are locked into the pins, you now need to just turn the cam one little turn until it locks onto the pin. And that's ready to go onto the side panel. Once your shelf's in place, just lock the cam locks in. We're now going to put the bottom piece in. The way you can distinguish which is the bottom piece and which is the shelf is the bottom piece has these holes here to take the foot. And now we'll just move around and do the top rails. And now you can go back and tighten up this middle shelf that you put on earlier. Always remember to keep your cam locks on the outside so that you won't see them when you open the doors. And now we'll put the top rail on. Once those are all in place, we can now put the other side on, just by dropping it on from the top. And again, just lock off all the cams. Now we're ready to flip it onto its top so that we can do the feet. The cabinet base has already been pre-drilled, so you'll know exactly where to put the feet placement. The angle of this always goes to the outside. We're just going to attach the foot in four places using the adjustable foot screws. These are outlined in the instructions. Just keep in mind, if you're going to use this in a run of a long line of cupboards, just refer to the kickboard instructions, as you may need to set these feet back a little bit. Now we're going to put the adjustable feet in the foot housing. And now we'll get the set square and adjust it to 145 millimetres because that's the optimum height for the kickboard. Now we can turn the cabinet up onto its feet and put the back on. The back panel comes in two pieces. We'll put the bottom one on first. Just make sure that you put the white side on the inside. I usually just line the panel up flush with the bottom of the cabinet and then we just nail the back on. There's no pre-drilled holes for this. And now we'll fit the doors to the front. 
So the first thing you need to do is to remove the hinge plate from the hinge and then we can put the hinge onto the door. Again, all the doors have been pre-drilled and you can just screw in the fittings. Now we'll put the hinge plates on the side of the cabinet and then we can click the doors on. Don't put these on tightly yet, you'll need some adjustment in them. Just line up the hinge with the plate and click it in. And now we can adjust the doors using the screwdriver and the little screws in here will adjust up and down or in and out. If you're not sure how to adjust the doors, it is outlined in the instructions. And now we'll do the same on the other side. Once the doors have been adjusted, we now put these cover plates over the screws. These just clip on and they're there just to make the cabinet look finished off. And now we can measure up to put the handles on. I'll just decide where I want them and make a few marks. It's purely your preference how you want the handles to go on. I'm going to put them on vertically. Now I've got the mark, I'm just going to use the square to mark down the door front. Now we need to measure the distance between the two holes on the handle and put those marks on the door as well. Just put a mark across where you want the top part of the handle to go and then measure down that same measurement to the bottom one. A little tip here is to transfer the measurements to the edge of the door and then you can line it up on the second door. That way all the marks are in the same place. Now we're going to pre-drill the holes for the screws that go through the cabinet doors into the handle. So now we'll just put the screws in from the back and put it through the handle at the front. And that's how we assemble a two door floor cupboard. You'll notice this one doesn't have a top on it. It's designed for you to put your bench top on later.